Okay, third video here. Uh, we got it all masked off here now. <laughs> all the sale ads from the Sunday paper. So, let's go go back in and do one final wipe down here. Check all my edges here and make sure I got paint good and covered. Because I do not want black on my green. So, just make sure I get it all pressed down real well. Across here. Make sure all our edges are good and clear. I do believe we are ready to go. I'm not going to be too worried about, like I said, overspray into the engine bay. But... Okay. Are you ready? Give me just one second here. I'll be back. All right. Now we're just getting everything prepped up here. We're shaking real well. Just gonna do a couple test sprays here. All righty. All right. Here we go. I'm keep about 8 to 12 inches off. I'm just doing a really fine misting coat. It seems to be coming out in bubbles. So let's see how well this stuff works. I'll be honest, so far I'm not impressed. It's my first time using this stuff. And it's almost giving it like a powder coating finish. All right, we're going to let that sit and dry. And we'll see how it looks. I mean, it's already giving it a darked out look on the front end. I like that. But I also want it to look good up front and up close as well as far away. So. We'll just have to see here. I did end up going with just the Krylon Fusion Flat Black. Now I can always come back and paint this again. I really don't want to do all this masking twice. But you know, if need be, I think it already looks pretty sweet. So, it was just a uh, dark slate gray. And there was not a single, uh, when it was brand new, because we bought this brand new uh, back in 99. But there was not a, another single piece of trim on here that matched out to the color on the grill. The rest of it is black, black, tan, mud flaps. I'm getting ready to repaint those. But, uh, and those were added on after the fact. We uh, got those in the deal when buying the vehicle. But everything is black, and then just that slate gray grill. Just, I don't think, matched it out too well, so... Let's hit it up with another coat here. We'll make sure we get some good heavy layers on there. This should never be subjected to too much heat, so I'm not worried about the kind of paint. We're going to get it good and well sprayed on here because I want to ensure the blackest of the black. A little bit of a strip there, but hopefully I should be able to completely get this darkened down enough that that won't matter. But uh, you all can like, subscribe. You know, I don't do that many videos. I just don't bother getting into that much stuff that often and filming it. But, uh, I am getting ready to be starting doing a lot of things to this. I mean, it's it's been a good vehicle for us. We've had it 13 years, and you know, as they start to age, it's time to start doing some things for them. So, this is just the first thing in the step of many. So... And it's going to keep hitting it up with coat after coat. Until it gets good and super black. I 
and I don't know if you all have any tips or tricks in case you didn't get it masked off too well. I may not have. And you get a little black paint where you don't want it. If you all have any tips on how to take care of that, let me know. I'd honestly love to black this thing out or murder it out as some of you call it, but the state green just doesn't allow that. But I got new headlights on the way, cold air intake, exhaust will come last. Uh, I already got some nice dark factory tint windows back here and then I'm going to tint these out to match that. I'd love to be able to tint the front windshield but you know how state laws are. But uh, And then getting this cleaned up in here. It's going to have a nice chrome tube there and so it's going to make it look a little nicer. But this is just the first step in many. I should have more videos coming on this stuff because I know some of you like it. Some of you don't. That's okay. Let's see if we can hit up underneath here some. And get up from the bottom here. And try to get up underneath these edges. But it's, it's not exactly an easy thing to paint while on the vehicle. But I think it's going to look sweet. It already does look a whole lot better. And it being blacked out. So I know it's hard to tell with the uh, wonderful paper on there but it'll look good all right we'll be back you know while we're waiting in between if you all have some sweet ideas on some things that i could do to this you know really make it look nice because that's my work truck you know i use it to tow my camper that's right down there in the yard and then tow my boat which is in the garage around back but if you all have any ideas of some really cool things I could do to this, I'm not looking to really change the overall look of the car. I think it looks great and the color's great on it. Uh, you need to get good uh, new wheel combinations. You know, get some new rims on there. That would look really good with this B5 blue. And then something to do maybe with this front headlights. And if any of you all know how to get rid of that dopey grin that they put on them that year's. I know that, excuse me, I know they've changed it since, but, uh, you know, if you all know how I could get rid of that, I know a lot of people did, but, uh, any good ideas, let me know. It's bone stock right now, so it's a blank slate. I just bought it, and, uh, I love the car, but it's nasty outside today. We've had rain, so I've been driving the old green machine around. So, let me know. Let's put the final coat that I'm going to put on it. Uh, you know, if this stuff doesn't hold up any better than that, then I'll just buy a whole new grill for it. But I just, I really don't want to have to do that. Next order of business. I'll see if I got the time to do it here. Is getting these suckers painted. Because they look terrible. And... They have faded out something off of the original Ford mud flaps, so I don't want to really want to replace them with some cheap aftermarket. These were put on by the dealer. I know I can buy new ones online for like 30 bucks, and the rear ones are the only ones I'm worried about because the front ones, the running boards guard very nicely and make them very difficult to clean, but it does help keep my running boards in a little bit better shape. But uh, we're going to see if we can get those painted. And see what we can do there. I'm also looking at a, this is a two wheel drive and I don't want to lower it and I don't want to raise it. I think it looks good as it is height wise. And I like having a bit of a chunky tire. If you all have any good rims, I don't really want all chrome again. I'd like some black in there with it. Uh, I want to keep the original rim size or 17 inch rims. So if you all have something that I could put on there and keep these tires because I just bought these like maybe a year and a half, two years ago now. You know, they're only about halfway through the tread and I'm not going to replace. This vehicle looks good with tires like those and I don't need big rims. I just want something different from these because the chrome is starting to have problems on it and I really don't want to take them and get them re-chromed or anything. So I just want to get new. So if you have some really good ideas, I like a simple clean look. Not really all super flashy. And I like to keep it as... I want it to look like 
the dealer did it. I want to look like Ford did it. I want it to match in real well, but just you know it's aftermarket. So if you have any good ideas, let me know. Okay, we are now removing all this time. Some hard work here. Get it off of there. Probably going to need a trash bag. Let's throw it down there for now. And we'll see how this illustrious job turned out. I can already tell it looks pretty damn good. I mean, it didn't get well, well down in there, but I didn't take it out. And I couldn't get down into some of those spots for quite obvious reasons. But I think I got a good line in there on it. And I think I got a really good edge. And I think it looks good so far. I do have a couple spots where, you know, the paint was not hit up because of the tape. But I'm no professional at this. It's my first time doing anything like this. So just bear with me here. Let's see what we can come up with. This is always the fun part, seeing how your work turned out. Here comes the fun part. We'll see how well this turned out here. Painter's tape doesn't come back off as easily as I hoped it would. Probably shouldn't have done this on a cool rainy day, but oh well. Some of these areas in around the emblem didn't get painted, but I think it looks all okay. I mean, it's not spectacular. You start getting right there, a little spot right there, and then one little spot right there. And I can get a black sharpie and take care of those, but. Well, there's your after. This is what it looks like. Let me shut down the hood here. Get this stuff out of here. And let you all see. Let me know what you think. I'll let you know how it holds up. <laughs> it looks, it actually looks pretty good. In fact, it looks really good. I know the lighting out here is not too great. But that looks sharp. I'm very happy with that. And it looks good in flat black because, you know, they never had glossy on them really originally. So I would strongly recommend going with a flat black again for it. All right, well, I appreciate it. Um, I know these videos have tended to drug out a little bit, but that's just how I've done it. I just got to get all these parts and pieces back on and hopefully I've helped you guys out and shown you can do a, a decent job without taking your vehicle apart. And uh, I should be uploading a vehicle by the end of this week of changing these suckers out. I got some nice blacked headlights. I didn't get smoked. I didn't get halos. It'll still utilize all the original bulbs and things. But I just wanted to update the front of it a little bit. Like I said, I like original factory look, but with customized options. So uh, another thing is tail lights, guy. I do not want... These freaky Euro looking tail lights or ones that are packed with chrome. If I could get some that are, you know, similar like this, but smoked out or something, if you all know where I can get that, I do not want to take these off and smoke them myself. As I want to make sure, you know, it's in the plastic because I plan to keep this vehicle for a long time. So just uh, let me know if you all know somewhere I can get stuff like that. So. Thanks for watching, and like I said, I hope I've helped some of you all out. Have a good one.